In this lesson, we want to learn an interesting tool, I mean dynamic place tool. This tool is used to put groups of objects together and interact with each other and place them anywhere you want. To start, we select these few apples together. Be careful uh, not to group these apples because the single object is identified. So we select them separately and select the tool. As you can see, you can move this apple by clicking and dragging and placing them wherever you want. You can also easily move in different direction by the available tools or rotate or move or move object away or close in different directions as you can see now let's look at the setting of this tool preserve orientation consider this example to understand this we move this object with the tool when its option is active, the object continue to move after hitting the edge of the container. As you can see. Okay. But when this option is disabled, when we hit the object on the edge of the container, it maintains its rotation. As you can see. Okay, a rotation mode, both, means that all objects revolve around a single axis. Okay. The group mode is same as the previous mode, but the object try to keep the position and rotation. Object mode. Each object revolves around its own axis. Simulation settings. To active gravity, just hold the shift and click and drag outside the object. And as long as you hold the shift, the force of the gravity acts and as soon as the shift is released, the object stops. Okay, an interesting trick to throw objects, it's very easy, move the object in one direction and hold shift. And as you can see, the object continue their way and throw wherever you want. That's interesting. Dimension of simulation, I mean a scale. The scale is dimension of simulation. This define the uh, value. This uh, define the uh, simulation box. You need to know your dimension of your work and determine the size of the simulation environment based on that. Uh, change the dimensions. When, uh, whenever you notice that the simulation is not working properly. This is all about the scale, the scale of the dimension, the scale of the simulation. Movement friction. This friction occurs when the objects move and collide with each other. If you increase the number, the object move more slowly toward each other. Uh, it's like something they are stuck together, the higher number. A stick friction when the objects are stationary and do not move relative to each other. According to the rule of the physics, there, are, uh, there is this friction between them. Bounciness to determine the amount of oscillation in collisions just like a ball that hit the ground 
and bouncing till stop. The visualize collider option in the collider geometry section is to display shells that do a simulation for us and do not allow the object to enter each other, causing the object to be dynamic relative to each other. As you can see. Accuracy and grouping. The higher number give you the higher quality of simulation. Just note that the system speed is also get slower. So be careful about them. Hello my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.